What's up, Gear Mortals? Trey Xavier here. Today, I wanna to show you how to make one guitar sound huge with this sick new pedal from Eventide. Notice how that sounds like more than just one guitar playing. How am I doing that? It's just me here. I'm, there's no trickery, I haven't double tracked anything. Back in the days of analog recording, lo those many moons ago, when track count was very limited and time spent in a studio was much more precious, studio engineers developed this trick using the old Eventide rack mount harmonizer where they could take a single track and just do some very, very small delay and pitch adjustments to it and spread it out in the stereo field and make it sound huge. So what Eventide has done now is taken that same algorithm and put it into a single pedal. It's called the micro pitch. Real quick, you guys, if you don't mind hitting the thumbs up for me, it only takes a second and it means the world to me. This is gonna be something that is especially useful to you if you are the only guitarist in your band or if for some reason you just need a really big spread stereo sound because even if you have a stereo rig, if the sounds are coming out of the speakers at exactly the same time, the same pitch and everything, it's not really gonna sound that huge. And that's the same reason why you can't just record a single guitar part and then copy and paste it and pan them hard left and right and expect it to sound like it's been double tracked. So what a stereo widener like the micro pitch does to achieve that same effect is to take your performance and then just alter it very slightly in a bunch of different ways that will make it sound a lot bigger. One of those ways is a little, little bit of delay and then a little bit of a pitch difference. It's kind of a little studio trickery that you can take to the stage with you and it really works. My signal chain for today is the guitar going into the micro pitch and then each of the stereo left and right outs is going into a different amp. I've got one going into the Rev D20 and one into the G20 and each of those is panned hard right and left. Here's how it sounds with the pedal off. Here it is with it on. I like to use this kind of a thing on heavy guitar sounds whenever it's just a single guitar by itself because it just sounds kind of weak without it so that you can hear it a little bit better. I'm gonna do it on a clean guitar sound to make it a little more obvious what's going on. Here it is off, okay? Sounds fine. Everything is all the way down right now. So not really anything going on. So I'm gonna turn up the mix knob to about halfway. Now let's mess around with the pitch of the left and right a little bit. So one of them will go up in pitch and the other one is gonna go down in pitch. Now this is a very, very subtle shift, all right? We're looking at either plus or minus 50 cents, which is not even a half step. There's 100 cents in a half step. So this is basically a quarter step in either direction that we can go. So I'm gonna just turn each one of them up a little bit. Gives us almost a little bit of a chorusing sound. It sounds better. It sounds a little bit bigger and a little bit more full. So this is probably like 25 cents up or down on either side. Okay, once again, here it is with nothing. Now let's crank them both all the way up. So this is gonna be plus 50 on one side and minus 50 on the other side. There's a lot. Very warbly. Because it's mixed at about halfway, right? We've got a bit of the dry signal and then we've got a bit of each left and right. And now we're gonna delay the left and right signals a little bit. And we're gonna do that by pushing this uh, function button, this sort of toggles between the two different functions of each of these knobs so that they didn't have to have 10, 12 knobs on here. They just made each one of them do two different things. So we push this and now these knobs affects the delay. So we're gonna turn those up just a smidge. So 
So now we've got a little bit of pitch and a little bit of delay on each side. Here it is if we turn it off. And on. So you can actually get a pretty long delay out of these. And have it be more like a delay, 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 delay. See what kind of a range we can get out of it. Goes up pretty fast. And then we can have them different on each side for kind of a ping pong thing. And it can be pretty long. Let's turn it all the way up and see how long it goes. Huh. We'll turn it down a bit. So it can function as a proper delay. Actually, if we turn the, the tone down, It's not quite like an analog delay sound, but it's a little less spanky. Personally, I like kind of a more subtle, like a tape type of delay or like whatever, like an analog rolled off type of delay sound. For delay delay, which this can do, but that's not really the point, I don't think. Really nice, really, really nice. As with Eventide's other single algorithm pedals, you can save presets and access them on the face of the pedal, or you can use their awesome PC editor to save them and create new patches and all kinds of stuff just by plugging it in via USB. I feel like if you don't have one of these, you don't really have a stereo rig. Like, it's not gonna sound huge like you want it to, unless you have something like this that's gonna differentiate the sound coming out of the left and the right speaker. The fact that the infamous micro pitch effect is now available as a single pedal is awesome. Previously, the only way that you could get this was in this huge rack mount monstrosity. Every big expensive studio that was built before like the last, I don't know, 15 years has one of these huge harmonizers in a rack somewhere and it's built into the patch bay and everything. But who's gonna take that rack mount thing on the road? It's a total overkill. It's not 1987, all right? We don't need a refrigerator rack. So I feel like if you're running a stereo guitar rig, this is gonna be an absolute must have. It's got all the functionality, all the different things that you want a stereo widener to do. It's super easy to use and it sounds awesome. The micro pitch from Eventide. Thanks so much for watching guys. As always, if you haven't already, mash that subscribe button, smack the bell to join the notification squad. <laughs> also, we have a Discord. I don't know if you like Discord, if you use Discord, check out the link in the description and join us over there for cool, fun gear discussion, giveaways, all kinds of great stuff. And I'll see you real soon. <laughs>